Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now join me for the Tiger Pledge. Today, I will try my best, imagine my possibilities and give respect. I will be eager to learn, realize my worth, and smile every day. Our guidelines for success go like this. Focus. Focus on the positive. Intent. Practice positive intent. Safety. Keep it safe. Helpfulness. Be helpful to others. Encouragement. You can do it. Respect, show respect to others and myself. And now for a moment of silence. the school family song.
Now it's time to wish well. So look around your classroom and see who in your school family is not here today. Let's put them in our hearts and let's wish them well. We wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day today, we wish you well. Deseamos lo mejor, deseamos lo mejor, todo el día de hoy, te deseamos lo mejor. And then send out all your love and your wishes. Hey everyone, Robert here from Miami Children's Museum's Theater Troupe. As part of our celebration of Autism Awareness Month, I am so excited to share a great book with you guys today. It is All My Stripes by Danielle Royer and Shayna Rudolph. And to help us tell the story, I am joined by my friend, Alberto. Hi, my name is Alberto. Today I'll be reading as the character Zane in this book. Like him, I'm also in the spectrum. I have high-functioning Asperger syndrome, and I know that it can be difficult for people, especially children who have it, to communicate well with others and build relationships. It makes you think that you are different and don't fit in, but let me tell you, it makes you special and unique. Just because you feel different from others, it doesn't change who you are on the inside. I hope you enjoy this story, and if you see an individual who has autism, get to know them. You may find out they're not so different from you after all. Here we go! Zane ran home as fast as he could. Nobody gets me, Mama! Mama hugged Zane. He began to tell her about his bad day. This morning in art class, the teacher started a hoof painting project. I didn't want to get paint on my hooves, so the teacher gave me a paintbrush. All the other zebras noticed and were making fun of me because they didn't understand why I wouldn't use my hooves. I bet that made you feel different from the rest of the group. It did, but paint is just too weird to touch. During math class, the fire alarm blared loudly. While the children in my class were getting in line quietly, I hid under the desk screaming and covering my ears. The class left without me, and I was scared until the firefighters found me. When the class came back from lunch, everyone was putting their lunch boxes in their cubbies. Some classmates were talking about a video game I play all the time, but I didn't know how to start talking to them. I started talking about all the things I knew about the game, but since I was staring at the floor, nobody knew I was talking to them. When the other kids walked away, I started talking louder. I really wanted them to hear me, but everyone was getting ready for science class. We sat down for science and were learning about the planets. Our teacher gave us each a planet to draw, but I wanted to create my own. When it came time to present, I felt different from the rest of the class again. My teacher loved my planet and said, Whatever floats your boat. I spent the rest of the afternoon looking for a boat in the classroom. Zane was crying. How come all anyone sees is my autism stripe? Mama carried Zane over to the mirror. When I look at you, I see many different stripes. If one of them were missing, you wouldn't be the same. I see your pilot stripe. When we get lost in the city, you always remember the way home. Your caring stripe makes you act kindly towards others. When your classmates think it's funny to bully other kids, you come to the rescue. Your honesty stripe lets me always trust your word. When other parents have to worry that their kids aren't telling the truth, I know you always are. My favorite stripe is your curiosity stripe. When all the other kids are falling asleep in class, you always want to know more. 
I love when you come home and tell me everything you've learned. Sometimes you ask me questions I don't even know the answers. Mama pointed out the rest of Zane's amazing stripes. The more stripes she explained, the better Zane began to feel about himself. By the time she was finished, Zane loved himself again. Zane ran outside, feeling the warmth of the sun. Finally, he felt proud of all his stripes. There's more to me than just my autism stripe. It's just a part of me. The other parts make the whole me. I love each stripe because without them, I wouldn't be me. Alberto, thank you so much for helping us bring the story to life. And thank you at home for watching. Remember to subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram to get all of our videos all month long as we celebrate Autism Awareness Month. See you later.